Hi, good evening. Tonight I'm going to introduce you a new uh, amateur protocol called FT8. Uh, this uh, protocol was introduced uh, two years ago, so it's pretty new and it's uh, very popular. Uh, this one, FT8, is part of the WSJTX family. Uh, this protocol is used to transmit very weak signal over long distance and uh, each transmission can only carry uh, 13 letters and uh, uh, the transmission lasts 15 seconds and uh, it's using 8 FSK modulation so basically it's 8 tone and each tone is uh, uh, 6.25 hertz and 8 of this one is 50 hertz so it's a very narrow tone and uh, um, uh, uh, so so 13 uh, letters you will add some error cor correction bits and uh, do a FEC uh, it's a forward uh, uh, error coding I used to wrote code for that one for the protocol and uh, then uh, the good thing about FEC is that the receiving part, if the signal is wrong, uh, some piece is wrong, it can recover it. And uh, uh, so when it's transmitting, uh, there's a three place middle and 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 the front uh, has a costus uh, pilot uh, uh, signal. So the pilot signal will tell the receiver like, uh, um, uh, uh, where's my frequency shift, and the timing information. Um, I'm not going to go to details. Uh, you can look at the web. So I'm the main purpose of this video is to tell you how to set up the uh, uh, this one on the Icon IC seventy three hundred. There's lots of uh, uh, small details missing in the uh, internet. It took me quite a while last night, uh, especially uh, one thing bugged me for three hours last night. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is uh, go to this website. Okay, this is the main website, and uh, they have the uh, web, uh, uh, a Linux uh, window and uh, Mac version. I use Mac, so you just download this uh, DMG file and uh, and install that. And uh, when you unzip this one, it will it has a readme file. Please read the readme file. It tells you that if you just install, install that as it is, it's not working because uh, the Mac's uh, Share memory is uh, uh, is not big enough, so you need to reconfigure the memory, and uh, uh, made it work. Uh, so after reconfiguring, uh, okay, now it's launched. Okay, uh, first thing you need to do is go to the preference uh, and put your call sign, put your grid, and uh, and uh, all those things. I'm not going to go through that. Um, the radio part. Oh, uh, uh, before you do that, you need to hook the cable. This is the USB cable, and uh, uh, at the back of this radio, there's a two uh, ports for this control. One is the uh, like audio jack port called the CIV, and this is for controlling this radio. And uh, the next to it is a USB uh, port. Uh, uh, it's uh, very confusing on the internet. Say some people say you need both uh, cable. Some people say one cable is enough. Uh, let me tell you. CIV uh, port and CIV CIV cable is not needed. The reason is that uh, the USB cable when you hook this USB, it opens three ports. One is audio input. One is audio output. One is the CIV channel. And that CRV channel is doing same the exact, exactly the same thing as this CRV uh, dedicated CRV port does. So you don't need add another CRV cable. Uh, the USB will uh, include that CRV control channel. Okay. So in my setup, I just have one USB cable hooked to the back of this radio. This is Icon seventy three hundred. And uh, after you hook this up you need to con uh, you need to make sure that uh, uh, this program can recognize this cable the way to do that you go to here okay you go to this audio you can see 
the input, you have the USB audio codec. And the output, you have the USB codec. Uh, if you unplug this USB, key, uh, USB cable, this, two, uh, this USB uh, entry will, be, will disappear. And then when you plug that in, it will show up. That means that uh, um, it can recognize that. So, so the reason it's there is because uh, inside IC, IC 7300, there's a sound card there. Once you plug that, um, this driver will be installed automatically and will recognize the sound card inside IC 7300. Uh, this is pretty uh, 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 automatic. So in the audio tab, you have to you have selection. Don't use the built-in microphone. Use the USB codec, USB codec, OK? So basically, uh, your computer can drive the uh, sound card inside that radio. And not, you're not using the any sound card in your computer. And uh, the one thing took me three hours last night is here. Here, there's a USB here. So I selected this USB. And the initially only has the Bluetooth port, two Bluetooth port and a USB. There's no USB to UART. Okay, only three entries initially. So only USB. So I select the USB. And uh, then you need to set this eight here. Eight, eight bits means that uh, each data bit is eight bit long. And the two means that there's a two stop bits and a none. And uh, here you use a cat, use data. And here uh, I use fake it. Uh, ideally, you should use a rig. Um, oh yeah, I can use rig. Uh, rig is better. But uh, for this te uh, for this one, I use fake it. Uh, the, re the the difference from between fake it and uh, rig is that uh, when you, for example, if you're monitoring. Uh, uh, this is 14.074 and uh, uh, when you transmit, you're tr not transmitting on this uh, same receiving frequency, you transmit a little bit off and uh, fake it means that uh, the the radio will uh, uh, the radio will uh, die to the, the, that transmitting frequency and send out uh, but uh, if you use rig, it means that if rig has this uh, um, a split uh, function, then radio can keep the uh, receiving channel on all the time and th then another channel doing the transmitting. So this is, uh, 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 if you use the rig, the, the receiving channel is, is ho holding there and transmitting channel is uh, switching to the uh, TX channel. Uh, normally the radio has two, cha uh, two, uh, two transceivers, but uh, the fake it means that uh, some radio has only one transceiver, so it has to stop the receiving, go to the transmitter, do the transmitting, then come back to the receiver. My I icon IC seventy three hundred is able to do the rig. I I supposed to select the rig, but for this radio, I have not tested this function, so I don't want to make a mistake. So so I I will do the rig later on after I do the testing. Anyway, then you say. Test cat. Green is good. Uh, why is it good? Because I select this one. If I select the USB, I test it. So I keep getting this error last night. I do not understand what's wrong. I saw that I split the USB, everything's good. What's wrong? The reason is that uh, uh, this Mac is pretty bad. It does not tell me what's wrong. So I installed the, the uh, I go to the Linux, it, it's, it's still wrong and it did not tell me what's wrong and I went to the window. Finally, window t told me what's wrong because window had a pop-up message uh, and uh, uh, there's a audio uh, installation. Uh, it tells me that, uh, well, I'm um, some driver is there. Uh, I, as I said, the radio has three channels, one is the audio, uh, input and uh, USB output. And you can see input output already there in the audio. That's automatic. But the third channel uh, is not automatic. But the, the, my Mac did not tell me. Um, the window told me. Window told me that uh, uh, it's called USB to UART. Uh, the driver 
is missing. So, so I went to and uh, window even window ten even tell me the vendor of this uh, driver. Um, uh, the Mac did not tell me anything. So, so I then I went to this vendor. The vendor is uh, Silicon Lab. Silicon Lab build the uh, hardware inside this radio. So you go to this uh, driver and you need to specifically get this driver CP210 USB to UART bridge. You have to get this one and it will give you the window driver. Once you install window driver, window 10 works. And uh, the Mac is this one. Look, I was a little bit hesitating to install this one. My Mac version is a uh, 10.14. And I thought this 5 is really, really old. So I'm afraid to install this uh, uh, driver. Uh, actually, this version is uh, this uh, driver's version. It's not uh, Mac OS version. So you just install that. Once you install that, um, and you select this one, two more entries pop up. When the CU Silicon Lab, Another is TTY, pick TTY. Once you pick this TTY, you test that, boom, it's good. It's easy for me to tell you, but it cost me three hours to figure this out. And there's a, uh, nobody, I mean, I did not see that on the video, uh, on the YouTube. Uh, so again, um, for the Mac, for the window, uh, you have to install uh, there's no no warning. I mean, Windows has a little bit of warning, but the Mac does not have warning. It tells you, it does not give you a warning. Please go to Silicon uh, 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 Lab and install their driver. And you should have seen this uh, TTY uh, Silicon. And uh, this is the USB to UART uh, driver. Uh, basically, uh, to be said clearly, uh, here the USB is on the computer side. The U driving the UART port inside the radio. Okay, so we fix the radio, fix the audio. Okay, now we we go to the operation. Uh, I'm not going to go to detail operation uh, because I'm going to shoot another video. Uh, I just tell you this really drives the uh, drives the uh, radio. For example, uh, for example, let me. When I turn the knobs on the radio, say I turn knobs on the radio, watch this signal, this frequency. Here, the frequency. Did you see that? It's changing. Okay. Okay, changing. Then if I choose a different band, say I choose a 3573. And this 80 meter band. Look at the, the this is changing too. This is changing too. So if now I need to go to 20 meter band. 20 meter band. Let's go. See. So so this uh, computer drives the radio. You don't need the radio. Uh, sometimes you can put a uh, Arduino. Uh, not Arduino. Um, the uh, Raspberry Pi in place of this computer, then the, and hook to the internet, so you can do remote control of this radio. So basically, your computer goes through the internet and drive uh, controls the uh, Raspberry Pi. That's twenty twenty five dollar small uh, uh, small uh, uh, CPU. Then that one will drive the radio, so you can implement remote control. Okay. Um, uh, okay, I, I will shoot a video for another one, like how to operate this one, and uh, uh, that's in the next video. Bye-bye.